Hi, oh, yeah. Uh, just another update on this lovely rainy Sunday afternoon in the UK. Um, so as you may have seen in the previous videos, the Skyline um, does need a little bit of attention when it comes to the turbo. Uh, can't get a standard rebuild, Kanunugu Hybrid, um, which I suppose is okay for future power goals, but um, not good for the bank account. So I think in total, uh, for the Link ECU, hybrid, clutch, injectors, blah, 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 um, it's gonna cost about six and a half grand. So with the car running right at the minute, um, I've decided to leave that for the time being um, and concentrate on the strut tops that are now start, starting to show signs of corrosion. So um, that is going to be a, another expensive job. Um, so to do that, unfortunately, the MX-5 is going to have to to, 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 to go. It's going to be it's now up for sale. Um, it's on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, that's the only place I've advertised it so far. Um, a couple of forums as well. Um, but it's not on Auto Trader or Piston Heads or anything like that at the minute. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed that can go to a good home. Um, looked after as best as I could. Um, yeah, it's still, still very clean for, for what it is. It's done not even 60k. So, um, yeah, so the plan is to sell that, um, get another car, and yeah, sort, sort the Skyline out. So when the MX-5 goes, I would need a replacement, um, something that is easy to work on, cheap to run, um, I can get parts for it. Um, originally, I did sort of tell myself that um, I don't care what it is, uh, it could be anything. Um, but then I found myself being picky and I couldn't decide what I wanted to buy. So. Um, so yeah, um, I have bought another car. I still have the MX-5. Um, so this come up the, the right time, I suppose. Um, wasn't what I was originally looking for, like as a cheap runaround, but yeah, fingers crossed. Um, it will do its job and help me out, save money and get the Skyline sorted. So I actually was looking at one of these cars um, a year ago, almost to the day, um, it was going to be a replacement for the Colt CZT that I had, um, but I was looking at the petrol version. So, um, yeah, I'll show you what I've got. So, this is my 2006 Honda Accord. This is the 7th generation, Mark 7, whatever you want to call it. Um, I was originally looking at the K24 petrol version as the Colt replacement but um, this one I've gone diesel so this is a 2.2 diesel and yeah that's the new daily driver as you see from the from the dry patch it has just now started to chuck it down with rain unfortunately but never mind um, so Quite lucky with this one. Uh, I do know one of the previous owners of the car, um, so I've been chatting to him recently. Um, I think it may have passed hands a couple of times since he had it, and unfortunately, I think within that time, it's uh, been neglected a little bit. So hopefully, um, I can bring that quality back up and get it sorted. There are a few niggly things that need sorting, but they'll all come. Obviously, I don't want to turn this into a full-blown project like the previous cars, um, but we all know that I can't, well, I can't help myself when it comes to spending money on cars. So, uh, yeah, this will get a little bit of treatment, but the more I do to this, um, the less money I'll have saved to sort the skyline out. So, it is all down to me. So, it did have a, a Mugen badge on the boot lid here. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. You can see the outline of the Accord badge. Uh, the, the original badge did take some of the lacquer off, so it has left like a little lip on the paintwork. So I've got another badge coming. Um, someone's fitted this reversing camera and a real cheap, nasty dash cam. So, just there. Um, Dash cam works, but the reversing camera don't. 
even though it wasn't spliced in but never mind so you may have noticed that the car is lower than normal so my friend Daniel put some BC coilovers on and uh, including the Civic FN2 Type R wheels which I think really suit it So with it being a sport model, it's got half leather seats, uh, not heated and manual adjustment. From what I can work out, the executive models have electric movement and heated element. So it's got a six CD changer, sat nav, the disc is probably well out of date, uh, six speed, transmission so yeah quite nice to drive yeah. trying to get used to the diesels the last diesel I had was a 2.2 Mazda 6 um, that was a few years ago um, love that car but I didn't do the miles on a regular basis for the GPF so I got rid of that before I got some expensive repair bills so luckily this is without GPF um, just EGR I believe but I think they may have been removed I'm not too sure so yeah nice place to be in nice place to sit when I mentioned that this car needs a bit of work um, the main things are the handbrake doesn't work at all um, I'm pretty sure that neither the calipers work they actually didn't actually move and you can see that the discs have seen better days looks like it's had a new caliper on the driver's side rear um but that's knackered now so yeah it's going to need a pair of calipers discs and pads um to get that sorted um i think the fronts fronts can be a bit squealy but again if i'm replacing the rears might as well replace the fronts um i think daniel did replace these back in 2019 i think so i don't know what kind of life it's had since his ownership but we'll get it sorted nothing special under the bonnet um a random live wire that was to an under seat sub from what i can work out i need to rip that out um, that live wire looks a bit oily so I'm suspecting a oil leak at the back here somewhere but the MOT history isn't too bad to be fair um, reasonably clean I think it's just the normal wear and tear stuff from memory um, The car does have the VSA light on, um, which is the vehicle stability. And from what I can work out, it's a common issue with the controller inside the ABS module. So I have found someone that can do rebuilds. I think it works about 250 quid with return postage. So I think that'll get sorted in the next couple of months. I'll get the rear calipers done first. Uh, Aircon gas doesn't work. There's nothing in there. Um, I don't know if it's a common thing, but the the power steering pump is a little bit. It's got some noisy bearings. I did look at a, another one of these prior to buying this, and that had a noisy um, pump bearing as well. So I know these top hoses uh, are prone for perishing and weeping. So it looks like that's been replaced at some point. So. Um, battery tie down, that's non-existent, I think half of it is in the boot, I need to see what I've got and what not. Um, looks like intercooler pipe, either the intercooler pipe has been replaced or that's been changed, I'm not too sure, um, it's got some aftermarket LED bulbs fitted or HIDs 
because uh, I noticed the caps are missing on the back of the headlights, so that needs sorting. So, but I didn't pay a lot for this car, so I understand it's going to need a few bits and pieces. So, but it is what it is. So yeah, and there it is. What do you think? Would people be interested to see me working on this or not? Tell me what you think in the comments. People want to see me working on this and improving it, doing bits and pieces, then I'll gladly make the content. So yeah, for now, that's the MX-5 replacement. MX-5 for sale. If you're interested, give me a shout. I'll send you the details and uh, with loads of pictures, walk around video underneath as well. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.